liten, men uh, i homelen så sitter du så länge i hockey da, så vi alla stiv i benen, så det svir ju och bränner ju nå jävligt så men uh, det visste vi på förhand men det är er vont faktiskt, själv om det er bara nedover så är er det skikligt vont. Så Nej, jag tror det var 349 styck som ville slå mig. Så jag följt när jag tog teten att det varit jagat av ett helt fält då. Så jag provade att ta vare på den jensen så länge som möjligt så det höll det så inte helt in. Var det några skitna tricks där uppe? Nej, det var inte det. Det var förutsvis uh, fel på starten där, men uh, nu vet jag inte vad som skedde längre bak i fältet, men uh, jag har ju luggat lite bak i fältet där på Homelund för och då vet jag att det är er skitna tricks folk drar. Det var helt förfärligt. Uh, Bärna mina skärder där har inte <laughs> har inte ord. Det är mig och Denalin. Ja, det var det, men det, det blir litt for lange etapper for mig det der, altså jeg er vant til å sitte i hockey i fem sekunder, og det er det, og det her tok det vel seks minutter så, det var fælt. Hi, Ski TV UK. Sarah Duffy here from Mount Buller in Australia. Our ski season is between June and October every single year, and we would love to see you for a ski down under sometime soon. We're going to be doing a quick GoPro guide and giving you a few tips and tricks to help you along the way. Right, so here we go. Uh, we're discussing the GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition, arguably one of the most high-tech action cameras on the market. Big and small improvements from the Hero 4. Nicer buttons, LCD screen built right in, three microphones that will work together to deliver the best possible sound quality and voice control. Uh, most visible uh, is the waterproof housing. You may notice that unlike its predecessor, the camera itself is waterproof, whereas before you had a waterproof housing and a regular housing, it's just built right in with the Hero 5. So before we get into the main tips, first let's just jump straight into using it. You can turn the GoPro on by hitting the mode button located on the side of the camera. You can also turn the camera on using the record button on the top. However, the camera will start recording straight away, then turn off as soon as you push the record button again. Swing the camera around to the LCD touchscreen and you can now see your framing. Tapping the middle of the screen will hide and show settings. Bottom left is to switch modes from video to photo to time lapse. You can also do this by hitting the mode button on the side. So next up is the resolution, basically the quality of the video. 4K is ultra HD, mainly for professional use or to crop in when editing. The resolutions go right down to 480p, but for recreational users it's best to stay in either 1080 or 1440. This is the resolution of most TVs, computers, etc. So next up we're looking at the frame rates. Simply tap and cycle through the different frame rates like so. Again, for recreational use, I'd recommend staying between 120 to 60 frames per second. This means that you can slow the footage down and avoid jumpy footage. Here's some examples of different frame rates when slowed down. Basically, the frame rates determine how smooth the footage is. The higher the frame rate, the more the footage can be slowed down. So next we're looking at the field of view. Cycle through the different options when figuring out your GoPro placement to see what works best. You can go from super wide fisheye to narrow. It's worth playing with the new linear, it's still wide angle, but removes the fisheye warping you get with wide and super wide. Now if you want to get super techy, swipe left to get to ProTune settings. From here, you can tap the on button and you'll have a bunch of other settings to change and play with. For recreational use again, it's best to keep this turned off. However, if you want to get the best possible picture out of your GoPro, it's well worth playing around in ProTune to get your shots looking just right. Especially with shutter speeds and white balance if you're using the GoPro in snowy conditions. Swiping the other way, you can go straight into your image library. From here you can scroll through your footage, trim and delete. It's also worth mentioning that you can lock the screen to avoid any frustrating finger slips. Simply drag down and hit that lock button. If you struggle at all with the 2-inch screen on the GoPro, it's definitely worth downloading the app onto your smartphone or tablet. From there, you can control and review footage wirelessly. You can also mark footage to help with editing and reviewing. I find using the app really helps when picking the field of view. Connecting the camera to your device is super simple. Simply drag down from the top of the screen and follow the instructions on the app. Easy. Battery life is always tricky with small devices like phones and GoPros, especially in cold environments such as the mountains. Buying extra batteries is an option, however I find it just as effective to keep a power pack in your jacket or bag. You can simply plug the USB into the GoPro when you're not using it, which keeps your camera alive, and you don't have to worry about swapping multiple batteries and potentially losing them. Most power packs are light, cheap and efficient, so if you find yourself losing battery life often, then it's a good investment. To save battery life, you can switch off GPS. You won't get the features GPS offers, but if you aren't worried about those features, then I'd recommend keeping that off. Clean your lens, and I don't just mean whilst you're in waist-deep powder. 
It's good to keep in mind that the lens cap is detachable and replaceable if you ever accidentally scratch it or notice dirt underneath. Simply pull the cap until you see a gap appear, then twist. Our favourite mount is the pole. We featured this in our Hero 4 Tips video last year, but it's worth reiterating just how useful this bad boy is. Extendable, easy to pack, you can use it to follow friends without getting dangerously close. Also, the pole acts as a really effective stabiliser. It takes out little bumps and shakes which are often found with handheld shooting. It's also worth mentioning that GoPro have updated their pole mount too. It's super easy to use and works on all kinds of things. I've popped a link in the description if you're interested in that. The chesty is also great for skiers to achieve the fast paced point of view shots. Gimbal technology is also getting really big right now and if you're wanting to get a really professional, stabilised sense to your footage, it's worth having a look at them as well. Also popped a link in the description. Oh putain Okay. Bordel de bordel. Okay.
if you go out to new places where you expose yourself, you need to trust your colleagues. At the end, if something happens in here, you only have your group that is going to help you. And Ralph is one of those bodies that you can really trust. You know how much slot I do. One turn right here. Getting on corrugated was no easy task. The cornices pretty much served as a, a barrier to getting on the face. Today um, we spoke about how it's possible that mountains or lines like corrugate can form and it's just unique in the, in the world. It's a line that we've seen pictures of for so long and it's up on this pedestal and you never really think you'll get the chance to ride it. chance is there. It's sort of, uh, is this really going to happen? Should we, should we ride this? It was pretty, uh, pretty nerve-wracking. We were both so fired up at the same time. I would definitely say that it lives up to the hype and riding it is just, it's pretty indescribable. I sat at the bottom trying to make sense of it all and all I could do is laugh.
Stopping in five. Five, four, three. I decided to produce Full Moon. I just thought that there was a lack of cultural preservation of our history <laughs> on the women's side of the sport. It was kind of the perfect opportunity presented itself. We've been snowboarding with the Full Moon crew for years and years and years. We've never joined together before now. Okay, dropping at five. Nothing turns out how you anticipate it from the start. Oh, the snow is not good. Everything is going wrong. Uh, okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Especially in the back country where so many things have to line up. Okay. Oh yeah, and we're stuck. Want to tell her we're stuck? Okay. We're just stuck up here, but we're just gonna um, unstuck ourselves and then we'll be on our way. Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. <sighs> Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh. <sighs> you got it. You got this. To be outside in the mountains with nobody else around is something so magical. It's not two runs on a slope style course. It's a whole mountain that you can ride in so many <laughs> yeah, different yeah. ways. I know you guys. We're just a bunch of girls having fun in the mountains and we want everybody to join along. Yo, 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 you guys ready for me?
Sky Ski TV UK, Sarah Duffy here from Mount Buller in Australia. Our ski season is between June and October every single year and we would love to see you for a ski down under sometime soon. In America, there have only been a half dozen more people to attempt skiing from 8,000 metres. It's an incredibly difficult proposition. There's a part of my life that separates from everything else and it's this thing called passion and and my passion became a part of my identity and we are literally pioneering skiing in the himalaya in the winter my wife always says the worst part would be is if i didn't know where you guys were if there were no clue as to what happened to you guys the only thing that matters is your love for one another and, and, and their well-being. The meaning that you get in life is not in what you're doing, but it's who you're doing it with. When you find your passion, figure out a way to do that. Don't let you know, anybody else tell you that you shouldn't follow that because it's too risky, it's too this, it's too that. It's, you know, whatever, you know, you're not capable of whatever. It's your passion, follow it and, and take it to a tent. It gives you that point of reference. We leave the mountain, but I've got that point of reference that there are things that are bigger and more important in life than a lot of the frivolous nonsense of your day-to-day -day living. The most important thing that, that I've learned is that you know a lot of people are going to tell you that you can do anything you set your mind to. Well, I'm telling you that that's not true. You can't do everything you set your mind to. But I know if you try, you can do a hell of a lot more than you ever thought you could. Red Bull Skills ist ein Wahnsinnsrennen, wo vier Disziplinen auf einmal fast ohne Ski wechseln. Vom Super G rein in den Slalom, noch ein weiter in die Artfahrt. Und zum Schluss noch mal, äh, der Riesenslalom ist natürlich konditionell auch eine recht große Herausforderung. Ja, schwierig mit diesen Übergängen. Einerseits weißt du, so ist das Grad von, was du denkst, aber ein kurzer Ski. Und andererseits braucht es noch ein Tor ab und zur Richtung. Ich mir hat sofort erinnert, dass wir früher wie, wie im Weltcup-Start stehen, so, so ist es zugegangen, ganz weit hoch konzentriert. Und jetzt haben wir ein paar einige gesagt, sie sind brutal nervös. Das ist für den kompletten Skifahrer perfekt, gell? weil so beim Riesenslalom, da kann gleich mal einer vielleicht ganz, ganz gut dabei sein. Aber da oben, da drehen sich dann die Spreu vom Bett. Ich habe mir zuerst mal den Laufen angeschaut und habe die Tücken herausgefunden sozusagen. Es hat dann anscheinend ganz gut gepasst. Natürlich mit dem ersten Platz ist schon was Besonderes und das passiert nicht jeden Tag. Super, ich freue mich überhaupt auf dem Ski, weil auf den habe ich mir am meisten Zeit. Ja, jetzt schauen wir mal, dann am 3.4. wird es in die Lenzerheide gehen. 
Und das wird sicher ein cooles Event. Da werden wir alle heiß drauf sein und es Beste geben. Hi Ski TV UK, Sarah Duffy here from Mount Buller in Australia. Our ski season is between June and October every single year and we would love to see you for a ski down under sometime soon.